short, set this up, but I'll forgive them. Um, thank you for coming out. This is probably, this is one of the only beauty um, sessions that we have, and we decided to put under the fashion track because um, our speaker today is just so amazing. She's created an amazing concept right here out of Dallas. Um, but before she takes the stage, I just want to read a little bit about Ms. Tiza Macias. She's a beauty expert, an entrepreneur, cosmetologist, cosmetics developer, beauty industry and cosmetics consultant. As the founder and CEO of Factory Glam Enterprises and the co-founder of Ages Cosmetics. Since 2013, she's successfully grown her company into a beauty and consulting group. Her team of beauty professionals and business consultants, experts, specialize in personal consulting services, beauty and cosmetic product development, which you'll see here today, and marketing and branding. She believes that cosmetics are more than just products. Instead, she stresses to her clients that there is knowledge and art behind makeup and its application. Um, Tiza is passionate about educating and guiding others on beauty, and she's known for her passion, her professionalism, and her innovative skills, and her super charismatic personality. Her career as a beauty professional began after attending one of the highest quality cosmetology schools, um, Ogle School of Cosmetology and Aesthetics. And she's graduated, she graduated from beauty school and continued her beauty career as a makeup artist, brand ambassador, beauty and product educator for the beauty industry, for professional cosmetics brands such as Bare Essentials, Estee Lauder, LVMH Brands, and Lush Cosmetics. If you will, please give me a hand as we welcome our guest speaker today, Ms. Tiza Macias. microphone can everyone hear me yeah because I talk a lot and my throat is like completely gone right now so I'm glad that Dallas Startup Week has a microphone so um, how's everyone doing good are you excited yeah so my session is gonna be a little bit different from what you probably would normally see for the cosmetic industry my session is gonna be more on innovating the actual product more of product formulation the way that we manufacture the way that we um, conduct um, laboratories and the chemists that we actually use so what we act what I actually have right here is just the basic what we call it in the manufacturing cosmetic world um, what we have here is basic packaging and basic formulation so any individuals that comes to our consulting firm and they ask us you know where do they get started how do they get started this is the route that the first thing is that we, we show them just because this is very basic and this is pretty much getting them introduced to the actual formulations packaging and so on okay so feel free to um, come over here play with it touch it so you can actually feel different formulas okay so we I have a um, PowerPoint which is going to be awesome are you sure okay so the first thing that I'm going to um, talk to you ladies and gentlemen about is going to be um, I think it's right here there you go. So what is Factory Glam? Factory Glam, um, what I call it, it's a factory full of glamorous things. You never know what you actually find out. You know what you get out of there. But what uh, my consulting um, experts, what we focus is in the beauty industry. So we make sure that we're always going to every trade shows just for the fact that we represent over 75 plus cosmetic companies and brands. So we have to make sure that we're always following trends. We have to make sure that we're creating the trends because a lot of these brands that you see in the department stores, we're pretty much developing all those formulas. So we always have to stay on top of our game. Um, our beauty experts consistently explore the beauty spa salon and we just expanded to the health industry and we now represent in over five laboratories and 17 manufacturers around the world and um, we're so excited because we're actually going to be opening up one laboratory and one distribution center here in Dallas so anybody that is interested in actual want to launch their own cosmetic line skincare line health line you you at our showroom will be here in Dallas, so you don't have to fly overseas or anywhere around the country. You could, they actually can get to come to Dallas and produce it from here. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. 
Um, the next thing is our mission. Our mission is huge just because I believe that cosmetic, beauty and cosmetic products are not just products. It's actually art and knowledge. There's a lot of art that goes into it. There's a lot of knowledge that goes into it as well. So any of our clients that come into our offices, we make sure that we educate them first on ingredients before we start getting into the actual innovating side, meaning color, packaging. We have to educate our consumers you know, about the ingredients. So that's one thing that we really big about. Another thing is, um, we partner up with different manufacturers and different laboratories. So if we don't represent them, they actually become a partnership. And if we're not able to produce that formula, we actually send you off to them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So how to you how um, to create your own cosmetic line? That is the million dollar question that I always get asked wherever I go. How do I create my cosmetic line? Factory Glam has made it a lot easy for individuals to create their cosmetic line just because we have partnered up with these different manufacturers, these laboratories, and we have built those strong relationships that now it is a lot easier to create your own cosmetic line. This is a new trend that Factory Glam has started just for the fact that it is so difficult, well, it was difficult, I should say, to start your own cosmetic line because a lot of these manufacturers and these laboratories don't want to talk to an individual if they don't have the huge capital. So now we have converted that and now we are actually, you're able to create your own cosmetic line. Anybody can without having that extreme capital, okay? So we're gonna get a little started here. So the process. So Factory Glam, think about Factory Glam being your in-house production team without your overhead. Meaning a lot of these cosmetic brands, they actually have a budget for their um, product developers. You don't have that with Factory Glam. You pretty much go by hourly. And if for some reason you're not able to keep on with that, we actually put your project in pause. And when you're able to come back with um, your capital, we continue your project with that. So um, think of Factory Glam as your in-house product development expert team without the overhead. And the process is really simple. What we do is we, you, uh, we help you develop your product in seven simple steps. You, we go through research, screening the idea, development, testing the concept, do business analytics. We do the post-launch and pricing. Um, pitch for you and then product presentation. We have really good relationship with different department stores, which once your line is completely done, we actually bring the buyers from the department store and you actually get to pitch your cosmetic line to these department store. So not only we help you on the product development and find you the right laboratory and find you the right uh, manufacturer, we actually help you find the right distribution center. You can either distribute through department stores or you can do a distribution through trade shows, which we are very, 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 very familiar with. And we have huge relationships with them, so that wouldn't be a problem. So just because you launch a cosmetic line, don't freak out on how now am I gonna be able to do distribution. We also help you with that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we make it easy in four simple steps. In literally four simple steps, you give us a call, email us, make an appointment, set up an account, and order your sample kit. I have a sample kit right here in front of me. And this is pretty much what we always ask our clients to order just because this is gonna give you the idea of packaging. This is gonna give you the idea of how we actually provide the ingredients on the packaging. And this is gonna give you that opportunity for you to play with formulation and help you decide what route you wanna go. Different kits are gonna be um, packaged in different forms. They actually start off with um, this one's actually a full kit. It includes mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick, lip gloss. It's about 15 products in there. And this gives you the opportunity for you to actually play with different formulas and different products. We have a lot of clients that when they order kits like this, they decide just to launch a lipstick line. Um, or they decide to launch just a mascara. So I always suggest to order a kit like this just because this gives you the research. We start the research when you start ordering a kit just like this. Mm -hmm. Another thing is um, 
We um, put us to work with your brand. Uh, we get we support everybody and anybody. We work with global brands. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to say one names because we're under contract. But um, a lot of the brands that you actually see out there, uh, Factory Glam does do a lot of the consultation for them. But we work with everybody and anybody. Um, uh, startup costs can be as low as $450. So this is pretty much the new trend for the beauty side just because we have converted that price. We pretty much took away the double zeros in the back and we converted to, you can get started as low as 450. Mm -hmm. So you can actually create your own line starting at that, which that is unheard of out there. And if you see anything different, please, my cards are right there. Shoot me an email and we will negotiate, okay? Uh, the process can be a turnaround of two months. I always get clients and they're like, I want to launch a lipstick line like next month. And I'm like, okay, well, let's get started. So the turnaround can literally be within two months or on. It really depends if you want to go more on private labeling or if you want to go more on creating your own personal formulations. What I mean by private labeling, what you see here, this right here is ready for you just to put your logo on there and that's it and it's ready to sell. So this is private labeling right here. Or you can actually go private formulation, which we actually go, we start from scratch from formulas. And you actually own the rights to your formulas and you can do post-production, meaning you can sell your formulas to other brands and that is when the fun starts, yeah. We have displays as well. So let's say that you complete, you don't know where to start. You love everything. You love lipsticks. You love eyeshadows. You just don't know where to start. We also have displays available, ready to go, which this display that you see in the PowerPoint, it's actually a private label. And that um, display is pretty much our basic lipsticks. So a lot of our clients, what they do is they start off with private labeling before they actually go into private formulation. It's a quick start to get your cosmetic line going, but as well, it helps you to build your capital to start going into private formulation. And another thing is, this is the best way to go, the best route to go, just for the fact that this right here is going to help you to target your clients. What is exactly that your clients are wanting? Are they wanting, you know, eyeshadows, lipsticks, eyeliner? It pretty much gives you that research, personal research for your own brand. Mm -hmm. Accessories, we have, we have it all pretty much. Accessories, one of our number one sellers when it comes to accessories, it's our brush belt. Believe it or not, in the month, in one month, over 50 to 60,000 brush belts are sold in department stores. Yeah, so um, if you just want to launch Accessories, you're more than welcome to. We can help you with that. If you don't want to get into the actual cosmetic, but you want to get into more of the accessories, we can also do that for you. Mm -hmm. So why create your cosmetic line? So this is why I came up with the concept of why you should. Who shops for cosmetics in here? Everybody? Yeah, almost? Okay. So... Can you go to the next one? So the challenge is that the makeup consumers are coming across. I am officially have put my brushes down. I no longer do actually makeup because I devoted myself to the production side of it. But I will always get asked by customers these questions right here. You know, um, I purchased something and it's never what I wanted or I was expecting. Um, the color selection are so not my color or it's not what I'm looking for. Um, you know, they can customize the cosmetics. Um, it's not a personal service. So once I started constantly getting these um, response from customers, I've done New York Fashion Week, I've done Paris Fashion Week, pretty much done it all. And it's the same repetitive questions that I kept on getting asked over and over. So when I actually put, you know, put the pieces to the puzzles together, I started noticing that I started helping um, individuals create basic foundations, basics, what you see here. And those individuals start 
really attracting the consumer in a whole different form. Just because consumers now don't like to go to the actual department store. Because as soon as they walk into those department stores, they get bombarded by so many other lines that they don't even know where to go. So now the cosmetic industry, they want it more personal. It's more of a personal um, touch, more of a consumer relationship connection. And once you do that, it's, it's an experience. It's an experience that is just unbelievable. So why create your cosmetic line? Because you can actually help the consumer that they're actually having these problems right here. And they're very simple, but it's a big, big different experience when that consumer actually comes to you in your line and you know exactly how to sell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do Factory Glam foresees for the future of the beauty and cosmetic industry? Technology. That's the first thing. Um, I actually got nominated to go speak for a TED Talk. And the reason why is because when they asked me why, where do I see the cosmetic industry going? And I said, technology. Um, you will see a lot of this new technology in 2020. But a lot of this technology now is, when I have walked into the laboratories now, they have completely reformat the technology of lipstick, eyeliners, eyeshadows. Now it's so unbelievable that the technology, eventually you won't need a professional to do your makeup. Because the makeup, the formulations that is, are getting done right now, it is so amazing and so, I always say, out of this world. My um, co-founder is in the back end. There's a new eyeshadow coming in. Um, uh, you guys will hear it about it, and a line is about to launch it. But the eyeshadow is actually a memorable sponge. So no more loose pigment, no more liquid. It's an actually memorable sponge. And that right there, it gives you the airbrush look. So with that being said, any client of ours that want to start tapping into the new technology trend, just because we have that relationship with the different manufacturers and laboratory, now you're able to. So if you see that Bobby Brown has it, guess what? You have it too now. Mm -hmm. So your line, your name, your brand, your style, your rules, um, that's, that's pretty much our mission that we give to our clients. You're not limited to anything. If, if you can't find it out there, we'll make it happen. We will make it happen. Factory Glam has been in business for two years and seven months, and we actually have been nominated to be one of the first consulting firm changing the consulting ways for the beauty industry, because we will make it happen, yes. Uh, this is the concept of our showroom that is coming in 2017. This would be in Addison. Um, and basically, all the manufacturers and laboratories um, formulations that we represent as clients, we will have it in our showroom. So you can actually stop by and you can play with these formulas. You can actually um, do your research through our showroom and we guide you through there. So this is our concept of how um, it will look. And we're so excited to actually put it here in Dallas because I was actually born and raised here in Dallas. So yeah, everyone wanted to take me somewhere else and I'm like, nope. It has to be in Dallas. And they're like, why? I was like, because it's Dallas. Yeah. We do have a program that just launched about two months ago. And it is called the Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation. And basically, that affiliation right there, it is going to be more of a guidance for beauty professionals beauty entrepreneurs that don't know where to start. We actually are going to bring the chemist to our programs. We're gonna be bringing our private label companies, our manufacturers to these seminars, and they're gonna be able to actually go into fully detail on how everything works, including from the machines that they use, from the raw ingredients that they use. We're actually gonna have those seminars available for the actual beauty um, uh, entrepreneurs, not only here in Dallas. We're launching it, um, of course, in Dallas, New York, Los Angeles, Miami, and Chicago. Um, and it's we had our first one about a month ago, and it went really, really well. Mm -hmm. 
So the Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation, um, it's, it's your space to be able to collaborate with these beauty professionals. Um, not only, you know, chemists or different manufacturers or ourselves, you'll be able to collaborate with different professional, meaning makeup artists. So if you are a client of ours that want to launch a line but don't know how to go about it, we're actually inviting these beauty professionals, these makeup artists that are constantly out in the field trying, you know, creating these trends. and you will be able to collaborate with them and ask them, what is the hot thing out there? How do we, you know, make this happen? You'll be able to have that um, service available. And then our entrepreneurship community collaboration. Like I said, you'll be able to co collaborate with other entrepreneurs, but as well, you'll be able to collaborate with our experts at free of charge. We normally charge on an hourly base, but when you become a member of our Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation, we don't charge you while we have those seminars right there. So any questions that you will ask, we will answer them for you there. Um, it's an amazing program, and it's really giving you that hand that you probably don't see out there right now. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, available cities are gonna are right there: Dallas, Houston, Chicago, Miami, Florida, and Los Angeles just um, open up for us, so we're very excited for that too. Mm -hmm. So, who can join into our beauty entrepreneur affiliation? Of course, beauty entrepreneurs, business owners beauty startups, brands and companies, and beauty experts. And the reason why we kept it so limited is because of the collaboration side of it. Everyone speaks the same language, everyone has the same questions. So um, definitely, if you represent any of those right there, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us. And our offices are actually based out of Addison, so you'll be able to um, come over and have coffee and collaborate and make it happen, yeah. So how much does it cost? The collaboratives are 15. Executive coaching, meaning that is more focused for business owners. It is going to be uh, $50 to $100. Business coaching is for all anybody that is interested in the business side of the cosmetic industry, not the artistry, more of the business side of it. And then educational programs is when you actually get to learn from the actual chemists and laboratories that we actually um, partnership have a partnership with or have a um, account with them. Um, how can you get in touch with our Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation? We're keeping it very simple. Just follow us on social media. We will post every information in there from like the sessions that we're going to have to the speakers that we're bringing in. Anybody that um, it's well known in the beauty industry. I wish I can say names, but I can't because I'm under contract. But um, just go into our social media, like it, and we'll be posting all the invites through it right there. And then our information is just right there. So if you have any questions, um, just shoot me an email. My personal um, email is actually tiza at factoryglamp.com or you're more than welcome to email us to our actually company email and one of our brand um, ambassadors will answer any questions that you have. But if not, you're more than welcome just to shoot me an email and I will answer any questions that you might have, okay? And I think that's it, yeah. Any questions? Because I actually brought some goodies to give out to anybody that ask, has any questions. Start your own. If you wanted to, you can just start your own mascara line, your own um, eyeliner line. You don't have to go into the whole thing of it. Um, the, um, the yeah, the base, the powder, and the foundation, and all that. Yeah. So. Do you still have to buy the whole starter kit? Or? You don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm, you don't. Pretty much the uh, the kit. It's more for individuals that don't know where to start, but they want to know 
they want to launch a, a, pro, a cosmetic line. So this is the best route because you actually get a full line. So this is something that we put together just for the fact that this is what a consumer will go into a department store and actual makeup artist will suggest this, all these products right there. This right here alone, if you were to go to a department store, the value of this package is from 300 to $475 right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, you, you, you do the math for the rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The starter package, this one's only 150 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So minimums, we do have some laboratories that do have minimums. Though when you go through factory glam, that's something that we completely cut out. So if they do have a minimum, just because we're representing them, they cut their minimums in half. So if their minimum is 1,000 units, then working with factory glam, the minimum can be from 500 to zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, can you walk us through the process if somebody wants to come in because a lot of people are now into organic, vegan, um, natural products. So that would be kind of your customized line. Can you kind of walk us through what that would look like as far as the time frame? Because you would then have to go to the chemist and create that. So how long does that take? What are we looking at in terms of pricing? And how does Factory Glam, how does that come into fruition? So when, we, when you get in contact with us, you go through the first step, which is our research. So the first thing that we're going to ask is, do you want to create your own formulation, meaning private formulation, or do you want to go with a private label? The difference between both of them is a private label, it's already formulas that are ready to go just for you to just put your um, logo and your name on the product, and we actually educate you about the ingredients that are in there. So that's available. And that could be a turnaround of two months. Two months, and you can get started with 450 if you go private labeling. When you go into pri uh, personal and private formulation, that can take up from six months all the way to a year, just because then we have to get in contact with FDA. They have to approve all your private formulas, they have to approve of the way the ingredient is actually listed in the actual um, packaging. And you have to be working really closely with our chemist. So we will have to be um, flying out to whatever laboratory or manufacturer you decide to go with. So if you go more of private formulation, it can take more of a six to a year. If you go more of private labeling, that can take up to like two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry? That's okay. We do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have different packaging style. Like I said, this right here, it's more of your basic packaging. If you want to get started right away, this is your basic um, packaging style. But yes, we have uh, manufacturers that have over, oh my gosh, 75,000 different packaging styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of my clients, the package, uh, this, is, this, this gets really fun because a lot of the brands that you see out there, um, and department store, we work with those packaging, so they make the same packagings for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you just want to stay focused with, even with one eyeshadow, that is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any? Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Um, I'm glad you asked that question because right now, my client right now that we're working on, they're all working cosmetics for men right now. Skincare and cosmetics for men. You're going to be seeing a lot of that. You're already starting to see a little bit, but you're going to be seeing a lot of that 2018, 2020. You're about to see actual cosmetics for men. It is incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So once you uh, once you develop your line, once you develop your um, product, 
um, we connect you with the right distribution center and they will actually be your distribution. So you don't have to worry about getting a facility to keep all your product. No, you will be able to, they'll be able to handle your distribution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any other question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by drop off? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Absolutely. So basically, when you work with us, since we represent a lot of brands, we let you know what needs to be out there and what needs to be out now. So that way it gives you an advantage because we're constantly in the field. So and we don't work with just one manufacturer. We work with multiples. So you can distinguish yourself from other ones. And what that's really neat, the fact is that just because we work with other brands, we're able to help you not to go to a particular route because that route, it's already being done. It's already out there. So let's start guiding you to a different way, which, yes, you can go straight to a manufacturer, to a laboratory. They're not gonna tell you those things. Why? Because first thing they're gonna ask you is, what's your budget, okay? Second thing is, what do you want to create? They're not there to actually fully guide you. If somebody is going to come out with this new foundation and you want this foundation, guess what? They're not going to tell you because they're not going to lose you as a client. So now you have seven brands out there with the same foundation. I mean, think about it. When you go to a department store, how many of a red, same red lipstick you see out there? It's it's just different packaging, right? So um, I, always, I always laugh with my friends because my friends, when they shop, they're like, no, I want to go to this brand. Oh, this brand's red lipstick, it's amazing. No, this one is. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, that one brand is the same thing. But I'm not going to say that because I'm not allowed to, but it's true. Oh, they're like, this mascara is so amazing. No, but, and I'm just like, wow, it's the same formula, but okay, just different packaging and different marketing and different celebrity endorsing it. Absolutely. Abs and <clears throat> we'll guide you through all that. Yes, absolutely. Just because we have built these relationships with these buyers. So let's say that we know that your lip gloss is going to be a very good product for, I don't know, Neiman's. We make sure we get in contact with their buyers and we set up the meeting for you to actually pitch to their buyers. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. We can't say that. Yeah. But give me a call and I'll let you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it really all depends with what uh, manufacturer you decide to go with. Because mm -hmm. I have uh, from your basic brushes to, oh my gosh, a variety of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No? Good to go? Awesome. Yes. I'm sorry, could not hear you. Uh-huh. Absolutely. So the accessories that we have, these are just basic accessories that you see out there right now, but accessories, we have pretty much the whole variety of accessories right there, from trunk cases to brush belts to actual uh, rolling case, aprons, 
gel sharpeners, I mean everything. And a lot of these accessories, you're able to apply either your own label name there, or we can start off from scratch, which one of our manufacturers will actually create your dream trunk uh, roller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah. No. Um, I have a lot of my manufacturers are based out of the U.S. just because I travel a lot, so I don't like to travel so much overseas. <laughs> but I do work with three overseas manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We just get you set up with a um, distribution center, and you guys take it from there. Mm -hmm. You're, we're your mentors. We guide you through beginning to end. We help you not to, for them to break your bank. We help you not for them to cheat you out and launch your dream line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. We do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we do. And I love uh, one of our perfume houses. It's actually in Europe. Um, and um, it's an amazing perfume house. Uh, but they actually, the same perfume house that we work with, they actually produce particular ingredients for skincare lines too. So absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we um, represent from nail polishes, cosmetics, perfumes, um, skincare. And like I said, we just finished launching to the health department. So I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, how much capital you would need to start a perfume? 450, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it, that, is, uh, that is putting everything together and getting you your starter kit, yeah. Because mm -hmm. we have a starter kit for everything. Um, this, I just brought the cosmetic one, but um, if you wanna launch a perfume line, we get your perfume starter kit going, so that way you can start playing with it. Mm -hmm. And that's before that, before, right, yeah, right, that, that one right there, the one before, before that one. For, oh, the Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation, that one right there, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Any other questions? Okay, so for the Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation, the collaboratives are $15, and that is when we meet up and we um, collaborate within each other. Who's coming out with what, what needs to be um, done out there. We invite makeup artists, we invite different chemists, um, so you can actually start learning of what is coming out there. Just like I said, in 2018, 2020, you're going to be able to see, you're going to start seeing a lot of cosmetics for men, a lot of skincare for men. When you come to these affiliations, you'll be able to learn all of that information. And then for the executive coaching, that goes more for like my business owners, my salon owners. They need to know what's going to be the next hot thing out there so they can go ahead and start ordering and creating it. So when they come to these coachings, we're actually coaching them on what's coming out next. Because normally we find out about a year to two years before it even hits market. Mm -hmm. um, for business coaching, it's more of like what we're explaining right now. We're explaining right now. And those are really, really beneficial just because our hourly fee, it's $150 an hour. But when you come to our beauty um, entrepreneur affiliation, we ask every question, you, we answer any question that you have there. So you don't have to pay the $150, yeah. And then the educational programs, that is when we actually bring the manufacturers, the laboratories, the chemists to the actual seminar, and you work directly close with them. Mm-hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah. Absolutely, just go and follow our social media and we're gonna be um, promoting it pretty much right there. Just because the Beauty Entrepreneur Affiliation, we're not doing massive marketing. It's more of word of mouth. So we're trying to keep it very personal right now. But it's, it's not looking very personal right now. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 
But we do have packages for the Beauty Entrepreneur affiliation right here. And this is the actual information that we have up here. So if you want to take any with you, feel free to pick a package and you can take it with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. In Addison. Yes, we actually do presentations around the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But our showroom will be in Addison. Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, concerns? I'm sorry. Um, how do I choose makeup artists to work with? Pretty much that uh, my creative director takes in charge of that. And a lot of them um, were really big on product knowledge, just because that's, that is what our focus is. So a lot of the makeup artists that we do work have to be extremely knowledgeable on the cosmetics that they actually use. So if they're using a particular lip liner, we want them to know what's in that lip liner. We, not, we don't expect for them to know just the color and you know what it does. It's ingredient focus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So if everybody that asked ask a question, can y'all please raise your hand so I can give you a She doesn't sleep. <laughs> Thank you, Tiza. And tomorrow, you guys, we have two fashion sessions. The first one at 11.30 on uh, creating authenticity for your brand. So if you feel like the market is oversaturated and you're having brand messaging issues, we have four experts that are gonna talk about how to create authenticity for your brand and create an amazing brand story. You don't wanna miss Matt Alexander. He's like one of the top fashion entrepreneurs in Dallas. That's at 11.30 at the Dallas Entrepreneur Center. At four o'clock, we have fashion promotion, PR, and media exposure. If you're a brand and you want to know how to get on TV or you want to know how to write a press release or you need PR services or how to get into the press, that is going to be at four o'clock at the Dallas Entrepreneur Center. We will have a fashion editor from Paper City as well as two PR companies to tell you what they're looking for as far as um, media and press. So thank you guys and enjoy the rest of your day.